Hey guys, Creative Innos here and today we will learn how to design this beautiful 7 steps infographic. And let me tell you, you can keep it like 3 steps infographic, 4 steps, 5, 6 or 7. You just need, you just need to remove the items. This is very easy. And here we have created these 3 variants. One with the light background or the white background. Second one is with the dark background. And for the third one, we have this image in the background. So I hope you will like it. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like, share and do subscribe. And let's begin with the tutorial. So the first step is to insert this shape, rectangle top corners around it. So just draw this shape and slightly reduce its roundedness. I think this looks fine here. Now remove its outline and rotate it or flip it vertically like this. Now we need to adjust its height and width. So width we need like 4.4 is fine. For height I think 9.5 looks fine here. So let's place it here. And now comes the next step. So as you, as you have seen in the beginning of this video that this is a 7 steps infographic and these are the seven colors so we need to fill the colors and then we will just duplicate this shape six times so select this shape click on this icon under the shape format or you can right click and click on format shape go to fill click on gradient as we have flipped this shape vertically so the gradient uh, so the gradient we need to fill here should be opposite of the gradient we need here. So you will understand once we will fill the gradient. So here we have these two gradient stops. Click on the first gradient stop. Pick the eyedropper tool and fill this color. Now click the second gradient stop. Go to colors and the color we have picked is already present here under the recent colors. So click on it. Now on the second gradient stop. Again go to more colors and move this slider downwards so that this color uh, goes darker like this. And now you can see the dark portion is towards the top and the lighter portion is towards the bottom but we need the opposite. And for that you need to click on this linear up. And now you can do one more thing and it will look much better. Move this slider slightly to the right. So this looks fine. Now you need to go the, under the effects option here. Make sure the shape is selected. Go to shadows. Scroll down. And we need this shadow effect inside top. Now increase the transparency, slightly the blurness and the distance. So the shape is ready here. And now let's insert an icon here. So let's pick a random icon here. Place this icon at the center of this shape. So we have kept the height 1.9 and changed the graphic color to white. Similarly, we need the summary here. So we will write some dummy text here. This much text is fine. Change the text, the font to monster at and decrease the font size align center change the font color to white and fit this text inside this shape now select all the elements and make sure everything is at the center alignment is very important here now select all these items right click and group 
now we have grouped the these three elements the shape the text and the icon now press ctrl plus d to duplicate and place it here and again press select this shape and press ctrl plus d and now place it here now press ctrl plus d So now we have these seven shapes and select all these shapes here go to graphics align middle and distribute horizontally now right click group group all these items together so now this is a single group go to align align center and slightly move it downwards now ungroup all the items now we need to change the colors and the icons and in your case you need to change the text as well now we need to fill the colors in all these shapes one by one and let's do it and you know the steps here on the second gradient stop you need to go to this more colors and move this slider downwards to make it darker like this similarly on the third shape pick eyedropper tool pick the color on the second gradient stop you can see the color under the recent colors go to more colors and move the slider downward to make it darker select the next shape pick the first color pick the color on the first gradient stop and on the second gradient stop pick the same color go to more colors and increase the and move the slider downwards similarly for the next shape and you can see it's very easy you just need to remember the steps here and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed please do that it will really help us and support us Now we have changed the color and here you can see the font here on these shapes should be in black because the color is lighter in comparison to the first two shapes and similarly we need the icons here so remove these icons go to insert icons and let's randomly select six icons we need six icons here and i icons are preloaded in office 365 version insert change the height and width to 1.9 and now place this icon one by one and then we will change the color Make sure the icons are placed at the center. Always follow the guides and you can see the guides really help us in placing the objects on the slide. Now select all these icons and make sure they are all in the middle like this and distribute horizontally. Change the icon color to white on the first two and rest I think black looks fine now comes the next step here and we need to insert a arrow icon so this one we can use remove the outline make sure it's edge to edge fill solid white color go to shadow effects apply shadow increase the blurness then the transparency level slightly increase the distance as well it will increase the depth here 
now we, we need to fill the pattern I think pattern will look good so we can pick this diagonal stripes light upward and change the foreground color there are two colors one in the background and the other one is the foreground color we need to change the foreground color and change it to gray like this now comes the next part so 50% of our infographic is done 50% is remaining draw this hollow circle reduce its width remove its outline and place it here at the center press ctrl plus D to duplicate and place the next here again to click ctrl D and it will place the circles automatically now we need to change the colors of these circles pick the eyedropper tool and fill the color one by one so if you have the context clear in your mind and the flow of text or the pointers then you can easily create the custom shapes or infographics according to the content you need to think like how do you want to showcase the items here and here you can see the color is very light so we need to pick from here like this and now it's much I mean it's more visible similarly we can do it for this circle as well this one is fine now insert a, sh a line here go to shapes click on the line and you can see the connector here from the left connector to the right connector you can join the line and change the color to grey white background one darker 25 percent and now the circles we need to bring these circles to front select all these circles and bring to front now comes the next step select all these shapes only the shapes press ctrl plus D go to shape format rotate flip vertically like this and decrease the height by by doing that we have done a smart work here and then let's place all these caps here I will call these caps because these are placed on the top of these shapes so that's how you can save time in your presentation by reusing the components and let's write the text here so we can write like title or heading title a center change the text to monster at semi bold change to white Ctrl D place next to it Ctrl D Ctrl D and on these titles we need to change the text to black and now change the text as well this is title B and we need to change the alphabets here oops D will come here then E, F and G. Now comes the last step. We need to place the values here. Or if you have anything to mention here, then you can mention it here. So let's duplicate it and place it here. Change the text color to black. Let's write the value for example 85%. Increase the font size. Make the text a, a lighter by 25%. So we will use this black text one lighter 25%. Now press Ctrl plus D and place it here at the center. Now again press Ctrl plus D. And now you just need to change the values here so I am just putting the random values here and you can see this is so easy to create
So let's remove this and let's paste it on a separate slide as a backup. So this is the design. Now select all items, press Ctrl G or group and go to graphics format, align center, align middle. So the infographic is complete. And now let's do one more thing, duplicate the slide and change the background to black. And now you just need to change the color of these text boxes to white. So if, you're, if your slide has this dark background, then you can use this infographic you just need to change the color of these and we can do one more thing here we can also add an image in the background and we will use the stock image so let's pick some nice image here in the background so we have picked this image now go to insert shapes and we will place an overlay image here Send it back, remove the outline and fill dark blue color and increase the transparency. I think black will look much better. Yes. And now increase the transparency a bit. And now you can see it looks really beautiful in the background. And we can do one more thing here. Ungroup the items. Select these shapes, only the shapes go under the effects option click on reflection and click this first one reduce the size slightly increase the transparency like keep it like 60 to 70 percent and increase the blurness to 9 point or 10 points to keep it like a rounded figure hey guys here is the final output and i hope you will like it look at this beautiful infographic it's very clean highly corporate if you're creating a presentation for any brand that always require you to create presentations on a white background plain pure corporate style then this is the infographic for you so i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and share this video with your friends and colleagues in office or if you are in school or college share with your friends so it will really help us and support us so please enjoy this video and we will see you guys in our next video with some more beautiful content till then bye bye peace